This is my favorite film camera to bring to a party. This is the Minolta Hymatic AF2. There are so many wonderful things about it, which I'll get into. I'm basically gonna overlay some of the photos I've taken with this over the last few months and talk about why I love it so much. Now, the things I think are most important to be a good party camera are that number one, it's easy to use. Number two, high quality photos. Number three, a flattering flash. And that's, there are a lot more things, but I think those three are the most important. This camera definitely covers all three of those bases. Another camera that does this well is the generally Olympus Stylus series cameras. Now, I've made a video about these before, but specifically this one, the Stylus Zoom 35 to 70. And my conclusion was basically that it's a great camera. It takes great photos, it has a flattering flash, super easy to use, but they're really overpriced on eBay and everything like that. And a bad example of a party camera is this, the Pentax IQ Zoom 900, which I got for $5 on eBay. And it takes great photos in broad daylight, but the flash is overpowering like crazy. I did a light meter testing with these three cameras and found that the Pentax IQ Zoom camera's flash was twice as bright as the Minolta Hymatic AF2 or the Olympus Stylus Zoom. That's a lot more light, especially in put into a tiny compact thing. It is blinding. I took that Pentax to a party once and every time someone took a photo, the whole room went, whoa! And it's super annoying. I mean, everybody was like, wow, I need a few seconds to recover from how bright that was. That's no fun. Whereas these two, the Olympus Stylus cameras and the Minolta Hymatic AF2, you take a photo with flash and yes, it's bright because it's brighter than an iPhone flash would be, but it's not alarming. It's a little bit of surprise the first time for people and then after that they're just like whatever but like I said the criteria being easy to use nice photos and flattering flash so the Minolta Hymatic AF2 is my favorite because we'll work backwards it has a very flattering flash and it pops up just like this it has a little indicator on the back when it's ready it'll light up green and that's how you know that the flash is ready it only takes a few seconds to recharge back up now to my second point about having nice quality photos what i love about the minolta hymatic af2 is that its lens and its aperture can stop down to 2.8 so if you're not familiar with aperture basically it determines how much blur you get in the background of your photo. So if you're taking a portrait of somebody, this camera being able to stop down to f2.8 means that the background can be super blurry and have your, your subject, you know, the person in the photo be perfectly in focus. And that's a pleasing look in general, especially from a point and shoot camera. And to my first point about a party camera being really easy to use, it really doesn't get as easy as this does. There are essentially no settings that anybody has to fuss with. I've set the ISO for the light meter to read. I usually shoot a 400 ISO film in this camera and I'll set the light meter to 100 ISO just so that it overexposes it by at least a stop because I don't think it's perfectly accurate. And what I'll do is I'll just pop up the flash and that's it. I'll leave it like that for the whole time and I'll tell people all you gotta do is wind up the thing and take a photo. It's that easy and you know, most people know how to wind a film camera, especially I guess for my age range, I'm like mid 20s. So most people have done the winding motion and if they haven't, they'll figure it out. It's not that hard to figure out. Now, one of the features of the Minolta Hymatic AF2 is that it will beep at you if you are too close to your subject, like listen to this. Okay, it'll do that. That's only if you half press the, the shutter button though. And most people at a party who are just very casually gonna take a photo are not going to half press the shutter. So they probably won't even hear it. And even if they do, they probably won't care. They'll just press the button all the way down and take the photo. But what I like about that is that you're going to get a blurry photo by doing that. And that's okay. That's part of the fun of film at a party is that blurry photos kind of capture the energy of a party in the first place, right? And so this camera doesn't prevent you from taking the shot if you're too close to your subject. It'll take it anyway. It'll properly expose it, especially if you're using the flash and you're gonna have a fun blurry photo to look at later. And that's really that. It's a super simple camera and it's fairly affordable. I would say that for what it is, it's properly priced. It's around a hundred bucks on eBay. And again, you're getting a nice lens with that. You're getting a pretty accurate focusing system. You're getting a nice flattering flash and you're getting a really light camera. By the way, I forgot to mention, it's, it's basically all plastic. And so it's pretty tough and it's light and easy to just pocket and carry around. I pocket it and carry it around at a party. I'll carry it around at a wedding I went to last weekend and 
I mean, it was awesome. The photos I got were great. The bride and groom loved the photos. They were like, what camera were you using? And I wasn't offended by that because the camera actually is what gave those photos the life and the character that it had, not me as the photographer, and I handed it around to people who took many of those photos. So it was the camera being responsible for some of those really fun photos at their wedding. So if you're looking for a good party camera, I would definitely recommend a Minolta Hymatic AF2. I got this at a garage sale last year and actually didn't get the chance to test it until like two months ago at my friend's birthday party, which is what some of these photos are from. You know, I went up to this older couple. I said, hey, do you, do you all have any film cameras? They said, no, I don't think so. And then the guy was like, wait, are you talking about 35, 35 millimeter cameras? And I said, yeah, I'm talking about like 35 millimeter cameras and he goes, yeah, hold on give me a second goes back in the house pulls out this little plastic bin from a closet and said yeah if, you, if you're interested in any of these you can have them I haven't shot them in decades and I had no idea what this camera was but it looked nice and so I said you know how much you want for it he said uh, how about 50 and I said I've got $20 on me that's all I've got would you take 20 for it and he thought about it for a second and he was like eh, yeah whatever i haven't used it so might as well and that's that got this camera for 20 bucks and i love it again my go-to party camera now super easy to use i'll probably bring it with me on my road trip across the country although i won't be shooting a ton of 35 millimeter film for that i hope this was helpful for you if it was hit the subscribe button to follow along for more photography and storytelling things and i'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching